everyone, Sarah MacArthur for Shaw TV. And this week, we're down at the gym on Park Avenue. And we're talking about the Celebrity Fitness Challenge. This week, we head to Fresh Air Experience to talk about the proper footwear for the gym. And a local pharmacist will explain the risks of mixing some medications with vitamins and minerals. Hey everyone, Sarah MacArthur here for Go Thunder Bay and this week we're down at the gym on Park Avenue, the home of the Celebrity Fitness Challenge and Marlo Ellis. How are you doing Marlo? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm very well. Awesome. We're here today to give you an update. Uh, as you know, I, I, I'm in the Celebrity Challenge with a lot of other really great people and uh, Marlo, wh what was the idea behind the Celebrity Fitness Challenge? Well, the whole point of running a, a challenge in the first place is to obviously get people fit and active. Um, but I, what I did was I wanted to kind of think of a way to motivate others in the community to get, to get active and to see that although you have a busy schedule, you can still get out there and get healthy and get fit. So I thought, what better way to do that than get some of the, the celebs from town who have real busy schedules and, and uh, who seemingly don't ever have time in their day to, to get out and do stuff, but still manage to make time to get fit. So I, I contacted a few people and, and here we are. So I think they've been really uh, great motivators to help others get driven to to work out and get fit. For sure. Now we're in week nine right now of the challenge. We just had, uh, last week we had our uh, third weigh-in. Yeah. How did, how'd it go? What kind of numbers uh, are we looking at? Absolutely fantastic. We're well over 120 pounds wow. in losses. And, uh, probably about 50 or 60 inches, which is absolutely phenomenal. So I, I can't believe the results, but this group has been so dedicated and yeah, you guys have been a lot of fun to train and easy to train because the group dynamics has been great and everybody has really made time, which was the whole point of the challenge, to make time no matter what, what your day is like to get fit. And it makes a difference. I mean, it's it's been successful. Big time. I Proof never thought- a lot of pudding, for sure. That's right. I never thought I would see 5 a.m. in the morning ever, but that's sometimes sometimes that's the time that you have, right? That's the, those are the hours that I have in the day that are that's somewhat right. free for me. Yeah. Now I know one really great thing that I love about your challenge is you nom you have people nominated um, yeah. for for three spots you had this time. <laughs> Tell us about how those nominations work. Okay. Uh, what I do is I I put out an offer to the community for. Um, family or friends of people who they think really do would benefit from from getting healthy and fit and moving and whatnot and what they're able to do is nominate somebody who's really important to them in their lives who they feel uh, could could uh, benefit from entering the challenge and so from all of the entries that I get I choose three and those three people their spots are sponsored by myself in the gym and then they come in and they they just basically are welcome into the gym and have full access to the to the gym and to the challenge for the 12 weeks and normally it's people who have a bit of a story either they've been caretakers and they just haven't really ever made time for themselves or they've had a serious illness or loss of a loved one or something and it's just kind of my way of giving back but also it, it gives them an opportunity to kind of take care of themselves and I always have really phenomenal Phenomenal success with those people and it's always been such a pleasure to uh, to train them and know them. That's awesome. Yeah. Up next we have one of those spots, Betty Croker. Check this out. <laughs> 